Hey, what's up YouTube? My name is Noah F and in this video I'm going to be showing you my MathMec deck profile. Now MathMec's a pretty cool deck. Uh, you can basically summon Final Sigma, which is your main source of OTK, as well as pass on Final Sigma when you're up against Flunder, which is a pretty cool thing, and uh, Final Sigma is pretty, pretty, pretty good against Flunder. Anyway, moving on to the cards. Many deck cards. Uh, we're going to play two Nabla. We don't want to see too many of these, we won't, we, but we do want to see it in our hands. So we're playing two. And then we're playing two Diameter. Again, this card is good. It's only good when we have Sign of Mining in our hand, or we have enough combo to play without it, anyways. Uh, of course, when Circle comes out, this is going to be bumped up to three. And maybe this at three. I don't know how I feel about three Nabla. But yeah, they're all right. One multiplication. Uh, for OTKs, and then we're playing the best, the the absolutely best math mech, uh, three balancer lord. Uh, reason why I say this is the best math mech because it's a level four, as well as if it's banished, uh, you get the special summon one from hand, which comes up with wicked a lot. So basically, this is your budget circular. And then we're playing uh, triple sigma. Again, self-explanatory. We want extenders in our hands. Triple edition. Again, we want extenders in our hands and triple sub. Now moving on to the consistency cards, we're playing triple mining, triple small world. This should be fairly self-explanatory. We don't want a brick, uh, but you still do anyways. Uh, but yeah, basically this just turns up to an extra. This makes banish this and like a hand trap. You'd search your uh, pretty much your math max, which comes up, comes up. Then we're gonna be playing your one called by the grave again. We don't want hand traps. We just you know just draw the out. Uh, we're gonna play for our hand traps triple gamma one driver of course why would you play multiple driver i've considered multiple driver just for the meme because uh, you know you're gonna break anyways worst case scenario it's a small world target so yeah but now nah, just play three and one yeah triple ash triple ogre triple valor these could be ghost bells uh triple imperm again going good for going second and your um and your super factorial don't forget about that card you play one, and the reason you play so many hand traps is because you're going to lose anyway. And so you might as well make them work for it, so yeah. Uh, your super factory will be belled pretty much 100% of the time, because the amount of bells are in the format is absolutely crazy because of branded. So if you're playing this deck, it's almost suicide. I say almost because your best win condition right now is either ending on IP, or your final sigma. So, so yeah. Of course, if you want to go the final Sigma route, you can play honestly Billion Blade instead of this, which might be worth doing honestly. Now moving on to our extra deck, we're gonna be playing the one Final Sigma. Uh, it's a good card, good for OTKing, and it's good for sitting on against certain matchups that just can't out a 3K unaffected. Uh, one Laplacian, double at Lumbertian. You play the one Laplacian because it's, it's only really neat. This is all you really need to uh, on your first turn, pretty much. Nukes their field and uh, nukes one in their hand. I say nuke, but it's basically up to two from field. What I mean by that is like one spell, one monster. It send it, it non-target send, so it's outs pretty much any boss monster other than a monster that's unaffected, and then also has an omni negate on top of that because of diameter when you make it with super factorial during their turn. Uh, we're gonna be playing uh, one unicorn, one IP. This is your IP targets. Uh, you want to discard one to shuffle one card of your opponent controls, comes up. The IP just is a good card. You know, it just makes this during your opponent's turn, right? Just, it's a free disruption. And then we have the one Lambda. This can come up, especially if you're not locked into Cybers. And some hands you don't, so you can just end on Lambda if you have a Gamma in hand and just basically play Cypher in control. Uh, we're going to be having one Splash Mage. Uh, you kind of need it for certain things for just link climbing and dealing damage or just link climbing in general splash mage is a good cyrus card we play the one wicked self-explanatory this is your main card to end on because it protects all your stuff by card effects which is nice and then devotee and your one uh disciple now we're going to play the one link spire one update jammer one trans code one access code uh, i do plan on getting a secret access code though but otherwise yeah this is a fairly standard lineup you can't really complain yeah the main reason we play too much hand trap well, a lot of hand traps not too much is mainly because everything 
can die to hand traps. And so, since your win condition is going to get belled, you got to make sure they don't got go. They can't get to their win condition before next turn. You normal summon diameter and then OTK them with diameter. And then, yeah, that's basically the plan. Is just to stall for the next turn because once you get the next turn, you pray they don't have a hand trap or two, and you just swing with access code twice. Or you sing, or if they have something on the field, you can just swing over with final sigma for game usually. Uh, but yeah, that's that's the main game plan with this deck. Is just get to turn three if you're going first, and if and just don't go second because I uh, second is hell. Just don't. Uh, a lot of the games I've won is by going second, just because of how powerful Final Sigma is and how little the opponent reads my cards. For example, one waited too late, and then I just summon Final Sigma and the multiplication target, and then swing game. And it's like, okay, sure. It's like, okay. And so, uh, yeah, uh, that was pretty much it for this list. But yeah, I won two, lost two with this deck. Uh, this deck's good, not great, in my opinion. You do lose a lot because of Bell, Bell's prevalence in the format. And uh, Branded is a tough matchup. Branded Shadal is a tough matchup. I won against, round one, I won against Dino. Round two, I won against Branded, uh, Despia Branded. At round three, I lost against Shadal Branded. And round four, I lost against Despia Branded. Um, but yeah, I don't think I played too, too poorly. It's just more or less, I, they gammed me like five times in a row, kind of lost. So the stack loses to a one hand trap. So yeah, you know, it's not, not that great. And circular, you're able to play through one hand trap. If I had circular, I probably could have done something as well as have some pretty good follow up because circular is just amazing. But this deck, I just feel really does suck this format. And I would just play other decks. And that's pretty much all Cyber's decks in a nutshell in this current state. Right? But I think with all that being said, let's get on to the combos. For this first combo, it's pretty much a pretty standard two, two card combo. It's basically Sigma. Well, not Sigma, just any math mech extender plus Balancer Alert. Normal summon your Balancer Alert, effect to gain additional normal. Pray they don't Veiler. Uh, you're, now you're going to special summon your Sigma, link off the Sigma. You're going to go into your Wicked, link 1. And you're going to go into your Devotee. This will lock you out until the link 2s or hires. And then now you will tribute this, summoning out your two tokens. Give me one second. And also look at top, put it back bottom. We're not going to though, because there's absolutely no point. And then we're going to go into our... Wicked, oh, whoops. And then link for our link spider. Wicked will then banish the balancer lord to then special summon the Nala from deck. Well, not a special summon, but add the Nala and then balancer lord will special from hand on a new chain. And then now Nala can tribute the link spider to special summon out your copy of Diameter. Now with uh, those two overlaid, we're gonna go to an Alan Bershon. Alan Bershon effects. Searching Super Factorial. Well, adding Super Factorial, which you're gonna set your Super Factorial, which on their turn you can activate to summon up to three, which we don't have, we only have two. So, that's fun. Uh, but yeah, if this was addition or subtraction, then you would have three engraved. It's just because Sigma banishes when it leaves the field, you have two. Which is another problem with the stack. But you can still have uh, a Omni Negate on your opponent's turn. As well as going plus about two cards. So when you summon this, it's going to be like chain one, chain two. You're going to detach two. And then, oh yeah, chain one, chain two. So yeah, you're going to banish this. And then you're going to add your tuner first, which will be the diameter. And then now you're going to use the Elm Bershon to search you a Mathematic card, which can be either your addition or basically any other extender you want. But yeah, you basically just have an Omni Negate during your opponent's turn. And as well as follow up as next turn. 
However, if this was Laplacian, let's just say we had enough gas for a Laplacian, then things would change up a bit. We would have a basically destroy spell trap, destroy a monster, send a spell trap, send a monster, send a random card from their hand. But yeah, I, uh, let's get into the next combo. This next combo is basically our OTK combo, a bread and butter OTK combo. And so basically it can be t any two extenders from your deck. We're going to special summon out the Sigma and then we could target the addition target the Sigma special. And then summon the Ellen Burshin. Ellen Burshin attached to. If this goes through, we're good. If this doesn't, we're kind of screwed. But if you already have the novel in hand, then you can bait out the gates with this anyways. Which then we can normal the novel. Novel can tribute itself. Not tribute itself, sorry. Uh, we're going to tribute the Ellen Burshin. Again, it depends what they have and stuff. So yeah, you can like summon out the multiplication, multiplication target. They're gonna be like, okay, sure. Which happened to me once. And then uh, some final sigma at 6k. Basically on summon, chain link one multiplication, chain link two Nabla, and then target final sigma. And then uh, yeah, swing into two of their monsters, then that should be game. However, if they only have one monster, then in a defense mode, then you want to go with an access code push. Which isn't isn't hard to do. But yeah, in this deck, in this combo, I'm going to be showing you guys how to OTK with access code. Special summoner Sigma, then special summon the addition. Now we can go into the copy of Ellen Burshin. Ellen Burshin detached to search your diameter. Diameters here. There we go. Uh, we're going to normal a diameter, special our addition. And then here, we're going to go to. We're going to go into the update jammer up top. Link for two. This will allow us to go into the transcode, effective update jammer. Uh, then transcode, target update jammer. Now, this combo is very standard. If you played Cybers, you know it. And summon access code, chain link one, update jammer, target access, doesn't target. Uh, chain link one, update jammer, chain link two, transcode target, trans, access code target, transcode. And then now he's at 53. And, and then you also have two clears. So yeah, that's uh, pretty good. Of course, you could have used Alan Burshin's effect to tag out for a, a math mech and grave, and then link for one to get an additional pop. But it all depends what they have on field. And that and that's something cool about this deck is that you can choose what OTK to go with. If they have something on field, maybe it's worth being safer with the uh, the final sigma. But you know, access code is an OTK machine and uh, it's hard to beat his efficiency. But yeah, I think with all that said, this deck's a lot of fun. It's just too bad that Cybers isn't the greatest this format. But yeah, I think with all that being said, I would like to uh, thank all of you guys for like, commenting, and subscribing. Each subscribe does mean a lot to me, and so I hope you guys continue to support my content in the future. And if you want to let me know what you guys want in the comment section down below, you absolutely can, and I will try to get back to all of you. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.